this is going to get uh, dicey. You know, I, I keep saying in 2008, Americans voted for change. And, 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 and frankly, you know, real and consequential change, real and significant, measurable, actual, let's do it differently change, not change around the edges. And arguably, we got some of that with Obamacare, although there was no public option. So I would say it was, you know, just taking the existing system and, and broadly spreading it all around. Um, but still, it was, I mean, that was a substantial effort. But that said, I think most Americans would say, yeah, but President Obama has been a good steward of the, of the economy and of the country, particularly with regard to foreign policy. Well, I, you know, I'd say all around, he's been a good steward of the economy. But he wasn't a change agent. You'll recall uh, President Obama himself pointed out that Re Ronald Reagan had a consequential presidency, was his phrase. In other words, it, it changed America. There has not, you know, arguably George W. Bush had a consequential presidency in that it changed America for the worst. But I don't think that those are lasting changes. We've already we've already pulled back from most of George W. Bush's stupidity. Uh, we've undone his tax cuts, which has cut the, the budget deficit. We have uh, we've backed out of his wars, you know, which is, you know, all, all those things. But Reagan really changed the country. FDR really changed the country. Obama, not so much. The biggest change, I think, is the is the fact that we had a black president. I mean, that what that has done on the one hand, I think, has has you know empowered in many ways the the African American community in the United States, and and now any you know any black parent can say to their kids, you know, you too can grow up to be president. It's like this is a really big deal in that community. So that's kind of the good news of it. The bad news of it is that having a black president, well, maybe this is also the good news, actually. Having a black president has caused all the white racists to come out publicly. I mean, we get to see them right in front of our faces and realize that the Supreme Court was utterly and totally wrong when they said that the United States, you know, that racial problem we had back in 1965 when the Voting Rights Act was passed, that no longer exists. We got a black president, didn't you know? I mean, which is basically what John Roberts said in his decision to gut the Voting Rights Act. But in any case, we voted for a real change. And I think that America is still at that inflection point. I think that we are very much still at the point where we want deep, profound, real, systemic change. And by we, I mean everybody. Who on the Republican side is saying, I'm going to really shake things up? The people in office, the people who hold power, they are idiots. I'm going to kick their asses and I'm going to, and I'm going to replace them with people who are smart. Who said, well, that's, you know, that's Donald Trump, right? I mean, that's trademark Trump. Now, the problem is that Trump is not a politician. He doesn't understand the political process, the legislative process. He's not a statesman. He's a buffoon. But he's our buffoon, right? It's, you know, you say, well, George W. Bush is an SOB, but he's our SOB. Well, actually, I would have disowned, disowned him, too. But the, the, but the point is that Trump is saying, I'm an outsider. Y'all are sick of the insiders. Look at Congress. has got an 8% approval rating. You know, dog poop on the sidewalk probably has a higher approval rating than, than, than that. At least in France it used to. I remember, the, the, you know, people used to bring their dogs everywhere, and you had to... This was back in the 70s and 80s. Walking the sidewalks of Paris was always, it was like an obstacle course. They've, they've fixed that. They, you know, they're like we are here. They're into, you know, if, you, if your dog drops it, you better bag it. But anyhow, the, why did I go off on that tangent? Um, <laughs> my point is that we want real change. And, and part of that real change is we want politicians who are no longer bought and owned by a by an economic infrastructure which is you know largely republican and and largely hostile to the interests of workers and not just not just the interests of working people but just right across the board the interests of pretty much everybody else